Dr. Jacobs, you you'd referred to uh, the branding and a couple of you have about being Department of Commerce. I was surprised the first time I saw the aircraft that had Department of Commerce on the side, so I was happy to see that change. Do you think um, um, having a standalone force would assist in recruiting and retention of staff? And has, has that been an issue before with, with all the uncertainty around or the, the confusion around just exactly who NOAA is and who they belong to? I think, yeah, it's, it, it's not helpful. It would definitely help with recruiting. I mean, a lot of times when these hurricane hunters do their hurricane awareness tours, that's where they're looking for. That, the, that's when the public gets to go up and touch and see the planes and walk around. And that's kind of, bet, between that and maybe the National Hurricane Center, what gets the most press. And that's what gets the future generations excited. These are, these are the facilities, particularly in Lakeland, where you know kids will go on, on field trips and visit and see these facilities. I think that's really important. And I'd like to chime in there, Congressman, and just say that uh, NASA's space mission is important, but NOAA, as everyone has acknowledged, has affecting every American life every day. So putting NOAA on par with NASA would uh, recognize all that it does and give it more positive exposure and therefore attract the talent and, the and perform the recruiting function you identify. Roger that. As the uh, as the gentleman that was there, was there when we had to move the airplanes, I, I want to thank you first of <laughs> all for doing that because we uh, that was a, a big you know a big step in in our lives. I also have family who live in in Florida, so I'm very interested in what what goes goes on there, and uh, I appreciate your interest in it, and uh, I certainly support uh, the things that have just been said. Thank you, gentlemen, and I yield back.